<sighs> I have mixed feelings about Lil Tracy's anarchy. So take a water sip, get hydrated, and let's talk about it. I think all of us have been excited for this project to release because what is better than Emo Tracy? I mean, come on. We're talking about one of the pioneers of the newer emo rap sound that we all fell in love with, myself included. It's heavily what my channel was built up on in the beginning. And a lot of you know that I am a huge, huge Tracy fan. So I obviously had really high expectations for this project. Now, a little bit of backstory for those of you that don't know. He had stated a few times, at least in the past, but the guy deletes his tweets and Instagram posts so much that it's hard to really keep up with it all. But I recall him posting multiple different times that he wanted to kind of move beyond the emo sound, move beyond the sad sound because he just isn't that in that space anymore. He doesn't feel those emotions that he was going through in 2014, 15, 16, 17 when he was building this sound with Lil Peep. That's why I'm just trying to be different. I'm trying to change myself. Like, I'm not trying to be like that no more, which I don't understand. Y'all always say they want the old me, but the old me was a fucking dickhead, a fucking drug addict. So I'm on some new shit. They say they want the old me, but I'm on some new shit. That's what that means. After Pete passed, he just wanted to move on and, and, and continue his career and continue to do what he loves, such as projects like Designer Talk. Me, being a huge Tracy fan, I was always like, you know what? Do, do you, Tracy. Like, whatever you want to do, I respect you as an artist. I want you to do what you feel like is the right thing to do because truthfully, I love it all. I love the flex stuff. I love when he's just kind of talking his shit. And of course, I love the, the, the sad stuff and the emo stuff from him. So it was kind of a surprise when he dropped the Project Sinner because it was definitely a more emo project that I feel like the fans weren't really expecting because he had said that he wanted to move on. Although the context of a lot of the music on the Sinner Project was definitely emo, it felt like a new twist. It felt like moving forward in the genre. It felt like uh, not so traditional like guitar beat emo rap stuff, which I think is why it went over really well. And that's kind of the issue or problem that I have with Anarchy. The production is phenomenal and shout out to the Neela World guys who produced almost all of the records on this. Really, really solid production. I mean, the best, the best guitar beats you could, you could imagine. It's as good as it gets right there. But it's just the simple fact that Anarchy doesn't feel like, uh, it doesn't feel like the, the emo rap genre is moving forward with this project. It almost feels like he's trying to recreate a moment. It sounds very 2017. And if that was the intention, let me just interrupt myself before I get into that. If the whole intention was to just try to satisfy the fans that wanted this sort of recreation of a moment or the fans that really, really loved Lil Peep and loved Lil Tracy together, if his intention was just to, to satisfy them and, and put out an album just for them, then okay, I understand. Then then really everything I have to say after this doesn't really apply because if that was the full intention, then okay. But to me, I feel like an artist is always trying to move forward and, and progress with a sound and progress with themselves as, as an artist and as a human into their new music and, and push forward, you know what I mean? Not take a step back to when they were hot because 99% of the time it just it doesn't work. Like going back is, is doesn't really work because music just moves forward. And yeah, it's good at the time, but when you hear it again in the future and it tries to get recreated, it's just, it's just not that special. So if his intention was to just do it, just to satisfy those fans, because I know he has tons of fans. Oh, we want emo Tracy. We want, we want sad Tracy back. I understand the pressure of all of those fans and, and, and what that must feel like having such a huge market and feeling like you're not satisfying them. But I wanna make this video and kinda say this sort of struggle that I'm having with it because I feel like a lot of you guys that are listening, Tracy fans, watching me, whatever, probably feel the same. It just, it doesn't feel right. Like when you're listening to it, it feels very, I don't know, there's just something missing from it, you know? It's like, when you were so into the scene and to this sound that he was going for 
back in 2016, 2017, when it was really, really starting to come together, you hear anarchy and, and it makes you miss that. It just feels like something that can't be recreated. That's the best that I could say. The eight tracks on this record, besides the one called Tightrope, are all essentially the same. There's no really story that's being told. There's really no path that it follows. It's basically just seven emo rap singles, and then there's the one tightrope that just like doesn't really fit in there at all. Some of them are uh, better than others, in my opinion. I think Halo is one that stands out the most, but I just wish that Tracy wouldn't feel so much pressure. And I, like I said, again, I don't blame him, but I, I, I kind of, I empathize with him. Like, it just feels like this project was put out just to satisfy a, a very demanding audience, which a good businessman would say, this is genius. You have all these fans that want this and you're very capable of, of doing it. So why not do it? Just the stan in me and in all of you will just, and just people who really, really appreciate the art and appreciate the forward progression of an artist would be like, ah, oh, man, just, just let it be. Let it be what it is in the moment and let's move forward. As a project, Anarchy to me just doesn't really sound like a project. It just sounds like seven singles. So individually, sure, they're, they're good. They're good emo rap songs, but it, it, it just feels like a recreation of an old sound. And I really just wanted to voice my sort of mixed emotions about it. I don't really know how to take it. And I'm really interested. So definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, with all that being said though, I'm really excited for Designer Talk 2 and the projects that Tracy has coming out in the future. I know he's got a feature with Trippy Red. I feel like it's been a long time since we heard him collab with like a much bigger artist. The Juice World one kind of I just personally didn't like it. And I think really the last one other than that Juice World one was the was Uzi on Like a Farmer, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm really interested to hear Tracy maybe collab with some bigger artists. That would be awesome. And, you know, I, I just love Tracy's, like, flex talk and, and his flex rap. I, it's, it's some of my favorite. I think he does it really, really well. So I'm really hyped up for his newer stuff, but just kind of wanted to see what you guys thought about this project. So I don't, I don't do album reviews. I don't, uh, I'm not going to do album reviews in the future, but I feel like this just kind of calls for an interesting conversation. My name is Patrick CC. I'm out.